every city, every place It's Christy. I'm the mobile home diva. In today's video, we're going to be touring this home. This is a Patriot series home. It's by Clayton Homes and it's called the Revere. So this is the Revere. I'm not sure if you can understand what I'm saying. So I'll put it um, here on the screen and down in the description box. This is in the Patriot series. Patriot series. It's a Clayton Homes and the name of the home is the Revere. So let's take a look see shall we at this home. I just entered from this door here. This is the living room. Lots of space. Always looking for how what I would do with the house, of course, you guys know I would put an entry table there. But the TV could also go there, so I don't know um, how that would work unless I put the entry table on the bottom or a bench type and the, t and the TV on top. But this is a nice size living room. I'm sorry, I'm thinking about what I would do with the space. And that's not what we're here for. <laughs> so this is your living room here. Three big windows in the living room. Living room opens up into the kitchen, dining room area. Your island is sideways. It's geared toward entertainment, y'all. It faces out toward the dining room and bonus room back over here. It has the dark cabinets. Look at, you got lots of storage space. You got pantry storage on the left side of the refrigerator. You've got cabinets above the refrigerator and all the way around. This has the black stainless steel. Love that. Built-in microwaves. You've got a sink in the island here. Nice granite countertop. So granite is in the island. And then you have the regular, um, the standard uh, counter space here on either side of the ceramic stove. Really nice storage in the island along with the dishwasher and you've got can lights all throughout this living room area living room dining room bonus room kitchen area so really really nice trying to stay away from the refrigerator because the price is on the refrigerator i want to show that last so let's move on to the dining room area you've got space here in the middle for a huge dining room. Now this table isn't that big, but you got space for a big table. Um, you've got a built-in there. You can make your beverage station or put some decor over there. Just whatever you like in that area. You've got lots of storage space over there. So you have your all of your casserole dishes and uh, fancy stuff, chafing dishes and fancy stuff for entertaining. You can store over here all of your extra decor, just whatever you like. In addition to cabinets, you also have drawer space in that built-in. So this is what the dining room kitchen area looks like. Again, this house is set up for entertaining. So from cooking, I, not only can I see into the living room while I'm at the sink here, which is a deep sink, love it. Not only can I see into the living room and the dining room, but we have a bonus room back there. Um, and we'll go over there, but I want to point out that we have sliders in this house. I know I've toured some other houses here at Vivian Homes that have sliders. We also have sliders in here. You got three large windows. And look at all the space here you have in the bonus room. You can make this whatever you like. Uh, with all the kids doing virtual homeschooling, it could be the classroom, it could be the playroom, it could be the family room, den, office, craft room, multi-purpose room, just whatever you like. You got all of that space over there. And again, for entertaining, you can see everything going on in the house. You got your sliders there, so your honey's out in the back on the grill, and then he's calling you. You can go right on out and help. Or if you have guests out there that need something, 
just in the perfect, perfect space. So very good. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Now you have a hallway here. And we'll go down and see what we got down this hallway. This first door to the left is the guest bathroom. Love the big window in here. You got your rectangular uh, sink. Love the counter space in this bathroom. Standard bathroom, tub, shower, combo, toilet over there. But you got space over here for storage, towels, personal items. Trying to get where you can see it. Right here. So you have four spaces there for um, storage, as well as you have two drawers and two cabinets in this sink. So that's the guest bed bathroom, you guys. That's the guest bathroom. Next to the guest bathroom, you have the utility room. You got your back door there. Love that you can put your washer and dryer on either side of that counter space so you can grab your laundry detergent or whatever you have up there or whatever you have stored down there. Sit it up on the counter. You can fold a few things while you're waiting on the dryer to stop, whatever you need to do. In addition to this area, oh, let's look at the cabinets. And you got cubby holes up at the top. If you for additional space for storage too. You also have this area over here. Um, you can use it for whatever you like. Trying not to call out what it is, but more so what I would do with it, because of course you don't have to do with it what I do with it. This could be a craft area, a desk area to pay bills. It could be um, a uh, oh, it's on the tip of my tongue mud room area for hanging up coats because it does have hooks i personally wouldn't hang coats up there so it could drip down on the counter but hey it has hooks so whatever you want to use it for um is your prerogative but i would probably put a bar stool a tall stool there and use it to pay bills and do crafts and edit videos and stuff like that so really up to you this room has a door but it's a huge space in here for whatever you like. And I like the fact that it has a side door versus a back door because you have the sliders in the back. So you have a sliding door too. Here's guest bedroom number one. This is a four bedroom, two bath. So this is your guest bedroom. Got a standard closet over there. Got a standard closet. And here's another view of the bedroom. So this is guest bedroom number one. Number one. This is the first guest bedroom that we saw, seen. Next to it is guest bedroom number two. So this bedroom has one window, but this one has two big windows. And then you have a, a larger closet Got a walk-in closet in here. I would bring um, the rack around here and I would also bring it around here so that I can maximize the space in this room. All right, that's what I would do. So there's your guest bedroom number two. And then, Going back into the kitchen area, toward the kitchen, you have a guest bedroom right here as well. This one has one window, and then you have a walk-in closet in this one. And again, I would bring the shelving around to maximize the space. All right, so those are the three guest bedrooms and, and one bath on this side of the house. Again, you got your family or bonus room here, dining room, and your kitchen. So let's go back through the living room to the master. 
Masters off the living room. Oh man, this is um our bed. This is our old bed. We put it in the guest room. Yeah, that's our headboard. Lots of space. As you can see, you got room for two nightstands on either side. You got your dresser over there. And you have plenty of space to walk through. And then you could even put like a chest of drawers over here and still have plenty of space. You can put a makeup table over there and still have plenty of space. Two huge windows over there. This is the master closet. Large, large master closet. It goes really deep. It doesn't have enough um, shelving for me. I would bring the shelving down, around, and back around this way. I really would, but this is a large space. Like this master closet is huge. And then over here, you've got your beautiful bathroom. We saw another, I toured another Patriot home today that has the same exact bathroom. I think it's absolutely beautiful. Lots of shelving and storage space. Lots of cabinet space, counter space. Makeup table can go right there. You've got your large stand-up shower with the rain shower, shower head. Again, for me, it's missing a bench. I think a bench should go right there. Then you got your toilet area, large window, and you got your garden tub with transom window. Really pretty. Really pretty room. Somebody was trying to come in. So let's go ahead and get the price and we'll let them tour. So again, this is in the Patriot, Patriot series. So 2019 Clayton Revere, four bedroom, two bath, 1,868 square feet. The cost of this home is 109,995. And if you wanna pause right here, you can see everything that's included in the price, okay? And I'll give you a look at that refrigerator because I know that I pulled away from it earlier because I didn't want you to see the price just yet. I want you to watch the tour before you see the price, <laughs> okay? All right, this is Christy at Vivian Homes in Baldwin, Georgia, the mobile home diva. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, like, comment, share this video with your friends. Thanks for watching. Time.